Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about how we would start building our new project in Automation Studio. If you, As you recall, in the last tutorial we talked a little bit about how to get Automation Studio downloaded onto your desktop or laptop computer. So in this tutorial I'm assuming that we were able to get all that taken care of last time and we will go ahead and start a new project in Automation Studio. Notice that Right over here, there's a little Automation Studio 4.9 icon that is automatically loaded on your desktop once you finish the download for Automation Studio. Go ahead and double click on that. Next, you're gonna see several different options here. What we wanna do is we wanna create a new project. So what I'm gonna do is click on New Project and then I'm going to click on an empty project. So click on that. Next, we have to name the project. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to choose the name of my new project for this. Go ahead and save it to a good folder that you know where it will be located so you can always go back to it. And also, when you reopen up Automation Studio, it's going to open up your latest uh, project that you had made. So go ahead and click Next. Here's where we want to uh, name the configuration. It's best practice to name it after the controller that you're using for this project. The controller that we've decided to use is the Compact Desk controller that I talked about last week. It's the X20CP0484. So I'm going to go ahead and name my configuration of this project that, that part number. x 20 cp 0484. I'm defining this hardware manually right now. There are other ways to define it, but for starters, this is the best way to go ahead and do that. So click on next. Now we actually need to find this controller in the project. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to the search bar and retype in that part number, X20CP0484. Notice right down here, a couple of options show up. We don't have the dash one, so we're going to go ahead and Click on just the 0484 one and click on next. Next, as I talked about last week, you, you can't just buy the controller alone. You have to buy a bus base like we had talked about and a terminal block as well. But the bus base is important. That's how you can pass the X2X communication along to any additional IO that you want to add to the to this rack here. It's also what ties everything onto the DIN rail. So the bus base that we chose is the X20BB52. So go ahead and click on that right here, and then click Finish. Now it's going to be building the project. It's creating some files and folders, so that's why it takes a little, little bit of time here. In a few seconds, we'll have our project up all made. All right. As you can see, everything's done. Our project has been built and made, and we now have a new project. Next week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we would put an IP address on this controller right here. We're going to, that's going to require us to talk about how to wire it up properly and power it up properly, and then also talk about how we hook this up to our computer. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Stay safe.